Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. A general reminder for those who do not know, MIC is having a one-year anniversary event where Bao is going to be trading live in front of our members. It's coming up August 17th. Mark your calendars. As an added benefit for our members, the event is 100% and exclusively free for annual and lifetime members. While lifetime, on top of that, get extra coaching before the event and guaranteed front row seating. While most charge for these events, we show our support by making it, again, free for annual and lifetime members. If you are interested in signing up for this event, DM TBradley90 in MIC Slack chat and or email myself at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Now, we have a very special video for you guys today as Joe Kelly, who puts together his weekly Sunday video series on trading basics, does episode 31, and he has a new scaling calculator that he wants to show you guys how to utilize. Now, while this is just a preview of the full-length video, if you want to watch the full-length or any of our exclusive content, then become a member of MIC. What's going on, everybody? Next uh, little topic we're going to talk about here is a update to the risk reward calculator. So I get uh, probably about a question a week or a question every other you know third day or every other day at some time at some points but the question is roundabout more, more you know more or less it's the same question and the question is this uh, and I'm going to use a member's exact question to me is Say I only want to lose $20 on a given trade. I'm, I, I already like this guy. Setting the risk parameters low, that way that if he, while he's learning, uh, he's got a long ways to go before he ever blows up. He's not setting huge risk parameters right out of the gate. He's being very conservative, making smart bets. This is how you survive in the beginning if you must trade. Otherwise, I recommend you don't trade. You don't even put money in a brokerage account. This will prevent you from having FOMO. Then you observe, watch screen time, record things, save charts, learn the edges, observe the edges. In the rest of the question is, how would I determine my full position size so that when I get stopped out at, say, like, three bucks, it's only a $20 loss. Without the position calculator, of course, he's trying to practice scaling into a position and more technical trading. So I have more freedom where I put my orders. I miss a lot of long and short due to putting only one entry exactly where the two to one earliest is on the calculator. For example, I would like to scale CODX today, 120 to 145, with overall stop at 150. Now, this was a question on Friday. Those levels, I don't think those ever hit, but uh, again, target was $1. So, in an essence, let's dive into one example here, and then I'm going to show you the calculator and how you can apply it. So, let's take, for example, SGBX. This is just a recent gapper, so uh, it's a it's it's a fresh example on my mind. So, just like Bao does, what we're going to do is we're going to analyze the daily chart. On day one, we're going to look at daily chart resistance only. Okay. Now, there are exceptions to this rule, but it makes it very very simple to use only the daily chart because they're much more reliable levels. So right out of the gate, I start with a three-month chart. Let's pretend we don't see this bar on the right side. We're just going to analyze this chart with resistance levels that we would like to see tested. Okay, The first level that we have looks to be about 140. Okay, But we're already well above that in pre-market at 140. So we pretty much just go throw that line out. Okay, We said 140 was a level. So 140, let's put a line there. 140 was a key level. But now that's broken and has looked to be support for now. The 140 line turned into support, now it turned into resistance. 
also another key level on this chart that we said was what? Was uh, after 140, didn't we say 180 and then 2? So we said 180. Oops. So now you have the regular calculator up top, but now I've added this additional little calculator for members to play with. So this particular calculator can give, can, you can input your own lines, the lines you're looking at, and if you want to trade them long or short, and then you can put your slippage setting, which is basically like, uh, if the line is at two and you're and you're along, you're going to want to fill just a little bit before two to make sure you get filled. You don't want to, you know, see a line at two and put your order at two and then that's it. You need to account for some slippage to make sure you get filled. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley ninety in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.